Hey guys, so I just had my closing. I am a gross, sweaty mess because it's like 100 degrees outside, but I'm in my new house, yay! <laughs> this room that I'm in right now is going to be my art studio um, for the time being. So I think I'm gonna have my art desk back here-ish and my work desk, computer desk thing right here, maybe. Um, this is technically the master bedroom. But I'm not going to use it as a master bedroom because this bedroom is much cooler because it's at the back of the house and it also has a full bathroom attached to it and this room has a walk-in closet and the actual master bedroom has a regular closet like a regular sliding door closet and I want a walk-in closet in my bedroom so <laughs> so yeah this is going to be the bedroom I just got some paint for that wall that the bed is going to go against and that's my comforter over there. And um, yeah, so my neighbor Liz and my mom are already starting to move some stuff over here for me. Very exciting. So I will keep updating you as we go along. Bye. <laughs> my mom just got this brand new vacuum and I need one for myself because you really don't realize how dirty your house is until you can see everything it's picking up. My God. It's moving day! We have a big, long move ahead of us. Yes, I moved right across the street from my childhood home. It was the easiest move I've ever had to make. I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of an empty house tour. This god-awful ugly coat hanger has some changes coming that you'll see later on in the video, but man, I hate that thing. So anyway, here is the empty living room. I've got a fireplace, which is so nice. The kitchen before it was redone. Wow, it was pretty ugly. <laughs> I'm not a fan of those dark wood cabinets. The rest of the kitchen is such a bright space. And then dark wood. It's an Eden kitchen, which is really nice. So there's room for a table there. And I don't have to use the dining room space as a dining room because then it would just be a wasted space, really. I would never use a dining room. And at the top of the stairs, we have my bedroom to the left. The bathroom is really interesting because the man who lived here before me was in a wheelchair. So they converted this, I think it was a closet space, into another bathroom with a walk-in shower so he could wheel right into it. I've got my washer and dryer upstairs, which is so wonderful. And here's the other master bath. This one has a tub and a standing shower. I'd really like to redo this bathroom when I have some money someday. It's a really good size. I would love to have like a whirlpool kind of thing in here. If you're familiar with home improvement at all, in one of the earlier episodes, Tim redid the bathroom for Jill. It's the most beautiful bathroom ever. It's like the exact bathroom I want. <laughs> that would be my dream for this. And here's my empty art studio, once again. I am just so blessed to have such wonderful friends in my life, my mom's friends and my friends who gave up their Saturday to help me move. Donald, smile. Hello. 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 Are you working hard? Yes, this is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do you recall when we were young? Running from all things at once. We even had a little relay up the stairs going at one point. And I knew we would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind. The stories I've been told, they never seem to leave my mind. Ooh, and this road that I am on. Gotta stay here for some time. Jumping a bit back in time now, before moving day happened, between the time I had my closing and the time we moved all my stuff in, mom took my whole kitchen apart and repainted all of the cabinets for me. This was a huge undertaking. 
She did this while I was doing some other painting and other things around the house because I just didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> and look how beautiful. And then I really hated that wall oven microwave combo thing. So we had our contractor come and he gave me a, a little pantry space in that area instead. And I got this beautiful oven actually from a neighbor who was getting rid of it. And now we're back to moving day. This same neighbor who gave me the oven also gave me the refrigerator. They're redoing their whole kitchen <laughs> and wanted um, just newer appliances, even though these appliances are only from like 2016. So it was an amazing deal for me. And uh, I had all these awesome people to help me move it. Thanks, guys. After all the work of getting the refrigerator into the house, we were a little worried that it wasn't going to fit in the space but it fits like it was made for the space. Unbelievable, by like a millimeter, it fits in that spot, perfect. Time has gone and I grew up I somehow made it through without losing sight I still wonder where you are and if you found a way out from the dark. The yard was a space that was totally neglected for a very long time before I moved in here. So I was really excited to get it cleaned up, get some new stuff planted, dig out all the old dead plants and uh, make it my own and make it look pretty. So mom and Adam helped me with all of that. The biggest draw of this house was the yard. It has a big yard and it's fenced in, which is just so amazing. I'm very fortunate. I basically have the only fenced in yard in the whole neighborhood because no one else is allowed to have a fence. This house just kind of snuck through when it was first being built. So um, I really lucked out in, in getting this. The stories have been told never seem to leave my mind. And I want the yard to be a true reflection of what it can be. And clearly, this wasn't it. <laughs> so we worked on the yard itself and also this patio area, which was just a total mess. I don't know why it was ever painted gray. And the whole patio wasn't painted gray. Some of it was tan, some of it was red. So we just decided to go back to brick red for the whole thing. And I'm so thrilled with how it came out. And my little animal friends like it too. Mm, on this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time mm. I finally got myself some masks for spray painting because every time I spray paint, my nose just fills up with it and it's disgusting. This is my first adventure with the mask spray painting and I'm a big fan. Mm. <laughs> They come and they go And we have to try and keep up Cause this life's so much more Ooh, And I still wonder where you are Ooh. 
curtain rods <laughs> and my job was to put the curtain on them <laughs> <laughs> bedside table right now. Fun, fun. Cut my leg really badly on some broken glass. It's been a couple days and it's still bleeding. <laughs> so we got some little butterfly stitches and uh, band-aid and you know what? It doesn't even look that bad, right? I won't show you the photo of what it looks like under there because it's it's pretty nasty, but you know, it's okay. The bleeding is stopping. Got all this fun stuff. <laughs> and here's my art studio starting to come together. I just need to say how worth it it is to invest in good paint. I tried to paint over this um, really dingy color with a pure white. It's a light color, it should be easy to cover. So I didn't think too much of it. I bought the cheapest white paint I could find, which was um, Glidden. No shade to Glidden, but it's cheap. And that's great, but it has taken so much force with a roller and just so much effort to get this wall done. And it's not even, like it still needs another coat. It's so patchy all over the place. And it was driving me crazy because I have been working on this for two days now and my hands are hurting, my arms are hurting, and it still looks pretty crappy. So I went out today and I bought some more expensive paint. And um, already I think you can see a huge difference in this wall and this right here. <laughs> I know you have already seen my art studio tour, but here's another little look around because I just love it so much. I'm really excited to finally be in a place with right angles at the walls. My last few apartments, I have had to use um, Velcro strips to hang these, oh, to hang these corner shelves because the walls did not form a, an actual 90 degree angle. I can use real screws and real tools to hang my shelves that actually fit against the wall now. about that. That's not part of my usual decor, but this is basically how the downstairs half bath looks now. <laughs> I was able to get this beautiful couch from Wayfair thanks to my friends Liz and Madeline and Chet who gave me gift cards for Wayfair when I moved in. It's a little love seat, but I just think it's perfect for me for this moment in my life. I don't really need anything more than that and it's beautiful. And here's my yard all ready for my housewarming party, but it ended up being over 100 degrees, so we basically had to move the whole thing inside, which worked out fine anyway. If we start breaking the rules, breaking the rules now, I'm not sure there's a way to escape that.
guys for watching. This has been quite an adventure, both moving and the editing <laughs> of this video, but I'm happy I finally got it together and I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I guess that's all I have for you for now. And now I'm going to go work on my next video. I will see you spooks on Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye!